Welcome to my how to stay motivated presentation. I'm a simple five step process that can streamline your motivation. Um, doesn't just fuel you by inspirational videos or funny images or anything, but a process that really lets you dive into your own motivation and control it. Um, so what is motivation? The general desire or willingness of someone to do something. So if you really want to go after it and get it, that, that's when you're motivated. But we all know we don't have that all the time. So how do we fuel this as humans? And it's all based on the human need for achievement. So we become motivated or inspired because we want to reach a goal. Or maybe you watched a inspirational video and you're got all pumped for that video and you're ready to go for a couple minutes or a couple days even and you just have all of this energy and you're ready to reach that goal. So first we have to figure out what is your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? So sit down, take a couple minutes, you can pause the video and write out why you are doing what you're doing. And it's really important that you write it down. So that way you can see why this is important. It's not just in your head anymore. When you put it on paper, it becomes more of a reality. So what future do you imagine for yourself? Really take a second, close your eyes, and picture how you see yourself in five years or in 10 years or the end of your career. What do you see? And where do you currently stand in the journey? And this is important to understand that we are in the process. You want to get from point A to point B, and that's great. But what is point A? We know what point B is, but what is point A? And what's separating you from point A to point B? So why do we lose motivation? Sometimes we're just tired. It's a lot of work staying inspired and going after all of these goals. Sometimes we're just uninspired. There's no, we forget the why sometimes, or maybe the why isn't enough to fuel us to do what we're trying to do. Haven't watched any motivational videos lately. Sometimes there's some that are really pump me up, but sometimes if I haven't watched them, then I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'm not inspired today. But remember, everyone loses motivation at some point. It's really important to understand. So that way we can start fighting it, turning it for our own personal gain. So how do you continuously stay motivated? You have to hack your achievements. You are responsible for your own motivation. You have to find ways that you are able to inspire yourself and not just be inspired by the environment around you. So let me introduce you my motivation manipulation method. And like I said, it's a five-step process. And what is manipulation? In the, the more positive sense, it's a control or when you're controlling something in a skillful way. So you're taking a smart approach to make sure you're able to get it to do what you want it to do. So we're gonna manipulate motivation for ourselves. And this puts you in control rather than your environment. You get to have your own motivation. You get to stay inspired because of yourself. So the first step, is you have to understand your why, which you already write down, and your why not. So it's also important to see the other side of things. Um, why would you not take this path? What are some things that might stand in your way? Um, and hopefully your why outweighs your why not, but it's also important to see those things. Number two, track which aspects you really enjoy and also what you dislike doing. So some people dislike playing fundamentals on their instrument. Some people love sight reading or some people hate sight reading. I just make a list of what you really enjoy doing and what you dislike doing. Now, step number three is a lot of times at the end of the sentence, so we have the work, 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 play, where we have to do all of this work in like three hours before we get to do something fun. And that's really hard to it's hard to do continuously. 
But if we stack our work, the stuff we maybe don't like as much or even work we enjoy, and a little bit of play, a little work and play and work and play, you start setting very quick goals for yourself and you start knocking out work, but you're still allowing yourself to have that that fun. You get to enjoy what you're doing because you're kind of almost masking the work with your playing while still having a healthy balance. So just because you can work, work, and work, and work, and work, that's great, but that doesn't last long-term. And the work-play method, and like I said, five minutes of work, three minutes reward, two minutes rest. Five minutes work, three minutes reward, two minutes rest, something like that, where you can kind of keep yourself going. So we're looking at the the long term here, the big picture. We're not looking at today. We're not looking at tomorrow. We're looking at your career. Find any distractions. And first, find the distraction. Write them down and eliminate them. Or eliminate them. Get rid of your distractions. And then schedule your time. I was once told that you are only free when you have the ability to schedule every minute of what you do. And now a schedule kind of traps people at times, but think about it. How many times have you woken up on, let's say a Saturday, you slept in all day, you just got a busy week of class and you ended up wasting away the Saturday. Next thing you know, it was eight o'clock, you had your dinner and it was time to go to bed and you didn't accomplish anything. Well, you let the world decide what your day was going to be. But if you had scheduled your time maybe the night before and understood that these are what are these are the things I have to accomplish, even if that's still having a lot of fun and relaxation, you get to be in control. So scheduling is the key to freedom because you're scheduling for yourself. This is the biggest one right here is you have to make obtainable goals for each session. Now, I like to write out my goals the night before. But if maybe you don't want to think ahead that much, let's just do it after something you always do. So like, let's say you do your daily routine or your warm up on your instrument. Then after that, while you're maybe taking a little chop break or something, write out your goals and make them attainable. We don't want to just learn this entire piece in a five minute chunk. That's not going to happen. But maybe we can get the first phrase in tune and in time in five minutes. Or maybe we can speed up our technique in a very incremental way, like maybe a couple beats per minute on some double tonguing. We can do those kind of things. And we have to change the mindset of, hey, I want to be the professional musician as soon as possible um, and start thinking, okay, what does a professional musician have? Let's work backwards. They have the, the ability to do anything on their instruments. But they got that way from a lot of hard work. So we have to break down and have those little micro wins every single time we practice. So these goals, again, you have your short-term, your long-term, and your, your career goal, your longer uh, goals. So just break those down. And just each time you practice, have a purpose. Stop wasting your time just doing random stuff. And why does this work? If you do this correctly, you win every day in the practice room. You get to leave saying, oh, well, I accomplished my goal for today. I, I managed what I was supposed to do. I won. Instead of leaving saying, oh, well, I'm a horrible player or I'll never be as great as this person. We stop looking at everybody else. And we focus purely on yourself and you won. You won today. You won yesterday. You won tomorrow. And this allows you to reprogram your mindset about practicing. It's no longer, oh, I have to do all of this work. It's, oh, well, I'm going to go win today because winning's fun. The more you focus on achieving specific and realistic goals, the more you will be successful. And the more you are successful, the more motivated you become, thus creating an endless supply of motivation. Because unsuccessful people want to be successful. But successful people do not want to be unsuccessful. So there's nothing like a fire of inspiration to say, oh, I wanna keep my same standards. I wanna be successful, I don't wanna keep growing. So if you liked this, 
go ahead and send me a message back telling me it, if it helped you or how you can use it the motivation manipulation method to help others so I can keep sharing more content. If you don't give me the feedback, then I don't know what you need. So share me your thoughts. Hopefully this is something that can work for you. Again, I appreciate you taking the time to make it this far. Um, and share this video with your friends and other students so that they can stay motivated as well. If you enjoyed it, just share the heck out of it. And the next steps. Are you ready to take your playing to the next level? Are you ready to get serious about your motivation? Oh. Remember, you have to track your progress to see your growth. I'll say that again. You have to track your progress to see your growth. So how are you going to track your progress of motivation to see if you become more inspired or not? And all it takes is just writing it down. You have to have a record. And that's so important with everything we do, especially as musicians. You have to have a record of what you're doing so you can go back and look at it and audit it and see if you're making progress. So if you're ready to take your playing to the next level, then register for my completely free live training on rapid technique development on any instrument. And so you can really understand the process of your own progress. I'm gonna show you how you can hack your own practicing in a way that allows you to have all of these frequent wins using the motivation manipulation method. And for now, just go ahead and respond to the private message. if. Um, you would like to register. And if you're watching a shared video and you still want to register, this is open to anybody. Um, just maybe get in contact with them. I'll have an event in my Facebook group, uh, Musicians Improving Their Abilities Online, coming up soon. But right now, the date is to be determined, and it is dependent on a minimum uh, number of registered participants. So right now, the minimum is we're trying to get at least 10 people in. Uh, the more the merrier, but I know with Zoom, I only have a certain amount of people that I can let in. So right now, 10. So share this and go ahead and register. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you use this method to rewrite the rest of your semester. You are now in control. You are responsible for your motivation. And now you know how to understand and you understand how to make your motivation the way you need it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.